So we're gonna take a shot. Cheers, you guys. Mm. Mm -mm. I got roasted a lot when I was a kid, so you know, that hits home. That hits home for me. Okay. All right, we got Idris Elba. You hear me? Okay. Jesse Williams and Drake. Jesse Jesse Williams looks problematic. Oh, oh my god, I'm so full. I'm so tired. Full. It's pretty late. <laughs> Yo! <Yeah>. Whoa! <laughs> I had my baby help me out today, you guys. He's on summer break. He's bored, you know, and it's hot outside. So I had him come help me uh, make this marinade. Um, so I'm going to be listing all of the ingredients on the screen. There's only a couple I did not include, um, but let's. Let's have Aiden take it away with this recipe. He would be doing the voice memo right now, but he's at the pool. Cause I thought it would be cute if he did the voice memo, but <sighs> anywho. And then I end up transferring it to a bowl, but since I had another piece, I bought 2.5 pounds of flank steak, which I keep forgetting to mention, this is flank steak. Um, I, I wanted all of the marinade to incorporate in both pieces of meat, so I transferred it over to a plastic bag and uh, I let it marinate for five to seven hours. That's what I would recommend, but I did about seven hours, I think. And I also let it marinate overnight, so we had that for lunch. And y'all, oh my God, so good with everything combined. Mm. All right, so I am going to start on my salsa. If you're an OG of the channel, you know what my go-to salsa is. But I've decided to add a few things to make it more of like a taco shop style salsa. So I'm going to be adding um, on top of three tomatillos and three jalapenos. If you don't like spice take out the seeds from the pepper if you do leave them in because sis this was perfect so I just peel the tomatillos they have a little sticky residue so I, I go rinse them and then I pop them into the pan and then I do a quarter of an onion or maybe even less than a quarter of an onion yeah I did a little less than a quarter of an onion of a large onion and then I did four garlic cloves and I put that all into the pot of water um, it saves me time versus having to like char it on my stove I just like to throw it in the pot boil it so I also add salt to my water you guys know how I feel about that I don't like to season it at the end I like to use the water to season my salsa at the end also going to be making the guac while that is going so I do add a quarter onion to this and 
and then I do uh, one Roma tomato. I remove the pit of the tomato because that's the watery part and I don't like that part. And you can repurpose the pit if you want to like in a stew or save it in the fridge and use it for something else. But I like it because it just it doesn't make my guac watery. And then I also do like just a little smidge of cilantro, not too much. I'm not huge on cilantro, but it was hidden. It was hidden for every recipe I don't, this time. I don't know what it was. So you guys see it's on a raging boil and I'm going to turn that off and just kind of let it sit while I finish my guac. And you guys saw that the jalapenos and all that are like a deeper green like they're not as vibrant because I, I cooked out all the nutrients and then I used two large avocados they were massive they were huge y'all I was about to add three I was like no So now I'm gonna be doing making my salsa. I just take everything out of the water and add it to the blender. Then I end up adding a little bunch of cilantro, one avocado, and y'all, it was perfect. This also was like one of my favorite salsas actually. I don't normally add avocado, but like I said, I wanted to do more of like a taco shop kind of salsa today. And it just turned out being like my favorite. And then I'm going to start making my, I'll, I'll, I'm going to call them condiments, my little condiments to go inside of the tacos. This is um, what a lot of taco shops out here offer as an option, like at the salsa bar or like if you ask them to 
give you a little baggie of jalapenos. They'll put carrots in there. Um, so I did a mixture of carrots, cucumber, and radish. They are all just, they're so good. After I did, I did a mukbang not too long ago and it was street tacos as well. And I just can't like, ever since I had it in that one, I was like, oh my God, where has this been my whole life? Like it is so good. So this is optional, but I'm still showing you guys um, how I make it. So I definitely recommend 110% to use something to protect your hands when using a mandolin. I'm just a dummy. Don't do what I'm doing. So I'm searing this, you want your heat to be very high. Mine was at 420 on here because that's what this um, induction burner was telling me. Although I don't know how accurate that is because this burner, y'all, has been giving me trouble. Um, so super high temp. I think if you're using a stove, it'd be like, I do medium high to high. Make sure you got your fans going though for sure because it's gonna smoke up. But you definitely, definitely want that sear so don't be scared with the smoke. Just be prepared. Open up all the doors, get the fan on. That is like perfectly brown right there, you guys. And I cooked it to medium, which is perfect for me and Chris. Feel free to cook it um, well, because this right here, it was so juicy, so flavorful. You could cook it to any temp and it will, it will be just delicious. What I did was add a damp towel at the bottom, put my my corn tortillas in, and then a damp towel on top, and I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And as you can see, they were steaming. I believe this little pot is like a uh, ceramic. And if you guys are still here, leave me some taco emojis down below, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Also, I just want to say a disclaimer for the video about you, the mukbang you guys are about to see. I almost did not upload it because I felt like we were all over the place and inconsistent. I just feel so, so bad, but I'm still gonna upload this for you guys. Um, so bear with us, you guys. I love you so much, and I will see you right about now. So, you guys, don't mind me. I might look a little stressed, a little pressed, a little hot. We are doing tacos and tequila today. And we're also doing a little bonus game we wanted to just incorporate while we were drinking and eating. And it is gonna be, I'm gonna say smash. I'm not gonna say the, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna have to bleep that <laughs> one out. So we're gonna be playing yeah. marry one, smash one. Smash one and kill, kill one. one. So we're gonna be playing that. We're gonna eat a little bit first and then we'll get into that. I fried up some jalapenos and some caramelized onions. We got cucumbers, limons, onions, cilantro, carrots, radish, chips, guacamole, and this is the avocado tomatillo salsa I made. So we're gonna take a shot. I worked a 12 hour day today. Let's Give it up for Chris again, you guys. He. Works a long ass double straight through. Straight through, it was it was it was 
o'clock, then what, 10 30, and then I worked. When did you pick me up? 10 30. Yeah, it was a, exactly a 12 hour day. Yeah. Didn't take a break, but I didn't eat after like 4 o'clock. Yeah, I had a snack earlier, but. Tacos and tequila. Cheers, you guys. Mm. Mm mm. Mm hmm. And today we are drinking Camarino. This has been like our new, this is our new baby. It's like our favorite tequila right now. We are filming super late, you guys. It is, it is about to be one o'clock. So all for you guys. Let's get into this, okay? I'm gonna build my little taco, my little cute little taco. So what I'm gonna put is a little bit of onion. Sorry, we're gonna be like in each other's way probably. A little bit of cilantro. And then I made this salsa you guys saw. Let me. Mm. Hopefully you guys can see that. You wanna try that salsa? Yeah, give me that salsa. All right. Ooh, I need to sprinkle some lime. Hemi said lime, please. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, said lime. You're welcome, said lime. Heard, said A lime. citrus don't hurt nobody. Mmm. Cheers. Cheers. I'm ready for it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. What else you want? Man. I'm going to walk on the thing, too. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Be upset if I ate all these tacos. I think I could. Would I be upset if you ate them all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd probably kill you. I'll let you have like two or three. Oh. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bomb. That salsa has some kick to it. Yeah, it does. I didn't ask you what's in it. What's in that salsa? Put serranos in there. I hope you didn't put habaneros in there. I'm not on that level. <laughs> I think if I had habaneros in there, you'd know about it. Something's burning my lips. I'll tell you exactly what it is here in a minute. Mmm. 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 They're literally so cute. Caramelized onion. Oh. Mm. Need some of that. Mm. I like to build, you guys. I like putting stuff in my taco. I also have water over here, you guys. Mm. <coughs> well, a little bit. Over here, I don't have cilantro. I love cucumbers. Okay, so basically, I have. Three jalapenos in there, three like medium sized tomatillos, onion, cilantro, lemon. I think that's it. And an avocado. And one avocado. It's really good. Spicy. Does have kick. I'm gonna knowledge drop you one time. I've actually never eaten a radish. You've never eaten a radish? Never. Oh shit. Never one time. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> it's like a they're like palate cleansers you know i was gonna say what's the point is it like eating ginger the, right it, like no it's like yeah or sushi yeah exactly like it's supposed to cleanse your palate in between your tacos and i use it for flavor i like yeah. cucumbers i like cucumbers after they don't taste like nothing really i used to hate radishes when i was younger mm. oh, yeah i'll eat another taco Mm. You have me a cucumber, please, babe. Thank you. There is said cucumber. It's already up here. The guac on it. I do like it with the guac. Mm. 
And I only made mm. carne asada fries or carne asada. I only made carne asada today. This is marinating for a while though. No. Yeah. Um. Guys, it is so hot. Okay. I'm ready. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, I don't have any more water. For all of those people who can't take shots like me, leave a comment below. Leave a comment below because I know I can't be the only one. I've tried every trick in the book to get the shot down in one. Mm -mm. I also am like, I also can't do pills, like take pills, like medication. Like, big ibuprofen. like yeah, I can't swallow like ibuprofen. I feel I really psych myself out. Like I mentally can't. I have to be so distracted. I feel like we're going zombie mode right now. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna come through. All right, so we're playing. Like I said, you guys, we're gonna be playing the kill. Marry one, Ma smash I'm one. Sorry, marry one, smash one, kill one. Right. I'll let you go first because it was very hard mm. for me to find people for him because he really only checks up on sports throughout the day, and I don't really feel like you you follow a lot of meme pages, so you like. I yeah. follow the best meme pages. You follow meme pages. You follow, you know, athletes and sports news. So it was very hard for me to find people for him. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to let him go first because I don't right. have very many. All right. Y'all ready for this? Do -do -do -do. Right. We got DC Young Fly in the lineup. Okay. Yeah. We got uh, King Kiron in the lineup. Okay, okay. And Mr. Hotspot. This is easy. I'm going to marry Mr. Hotspot. I'm smashing Kiron, okay? I don't know if anybody I don't know if anybody follows him, but he had a, like a gray sweatpant moment. <laughs> And I'm definitely killing DC Young Fly. You're killing it, but he's funny. He's not very funny to me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. He used to be funny to me, but like he. No, he's funny. Okay. Let me just say this. Like he's absolutely funny, mm -hmm. but there are different types of humor for different types of people, and I'm just not like. I think he's funny, but not like he just roasts okay. people, and I got roasted a lot when I was a kid. So you know, that hits home. It's home for me. Okay. So what I have, and I'm going to be putting these up on the screen when I edit. Britt McHenry. Do you know who I'm talking about? Nope. Okay. Carrie Champion. And Molly. What's her name? Molly. Molly. I know you're talking about from First Take. From First Take. Chris. Okay. My bad, you guys. So it's going to be Molly, Carrie Champion, and Carissa Thompson. All right. Um... I'm killing Carissa Thompson. She's trash. I mean, Molly's trash too. Really? But, but I'll, I would just probably just smash her to get her out of the way because Carrie, and Ch Carrie Champion's been been that woman. I've been mm -hmm. following her for a long time. I went to a first take episode when the Super Bowl was in Arizona and saw her doing what she do. So she is gorgeous. I think I'm marrying she Carrie Champion. She is so, so gorgeous. Sorry, Molly fan. I don't even think there's Molly fans. Like, people people that follow first take going really... I should just play that clip of, of that whole LeVar Ball situation. Go ahead. Go LeVar, ahead before I, I get back to him. LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> Let's stay oh, focused Lord. here. All right. Um, can you please... Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Molly... She's really pretty too. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't do anything to get on my nerves, but she's you know. But she's just not Carrie. Yeah, no one could be no one could be Carrie after she's that. She's not Carrie. Carrie's like that. Carrie moved up. She was like, I'm done. I can have my own show. Mm-hmm. Oh. All, All right. right. I got one for you now. My hair is looking 
oh my gosh you guys i'm so sorry my hair is stressing me out i know a lot of you guys were like i like mm. it down i'm so glad you guys like it down but it is hot it's hot <laughs> for your girl instagram stars okay some female instagram stars Okay, so uh, you can throw in females, but I can throw in dudes for you? Well, That's not fair. Correct. I got you. Next one. All right, so we got Drea Michelle. She's so bad. Miracle Watts. Okay, I don't really follow her. So. And Winter. Um... I'm sorry. Like, I'm going. I'm going with. I'm going with. I'm killing Miracle Watts. Like, I don't really care about her. I don't really follow her. Um, <laughs> she's. Killing she, I'm, I'm killing her. <laughs> <laughs> and you said the other one was what? It was Winter and. Drea Michelle. I'm smashing Drea. She's gorgeous. But you know what I'm saying. I seen her on Basketball Wives acting a fool a whole lot of a whole lot of times. Although I feel like she's glowed up. I still follow her. She's gorgeous. Um, but Winter, she's just so funny. Like I love that she girl. Is. Dre has more money than her though. Who cares? Dre got men swim. Okay. Yeah, but All right. I feel like All right. she. I feel like I don't. I feel like I just don't agree with her being with Orlando. I feel like that's a weird, like, coupling. Yeah, he's, he's a corny football player. He's not even nice. Sorry, Cowboys fans. At me right now. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Your turn. Okay. Try. I'm going to finish my taco. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sorry, y'all. These tacos are so bomb. Dude, they really are. I easily could have eaten all these by now. For the sake of the video. I should have made more. Yeah. It's okay. Maybe she's taking the shot. We were really thinking like like we were gonna be good off of that and then I realized like oh no. I don't know about that, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Lord. Lord. So my second one is going to be it's gonna be like superhero-ish, I guess. Rachel from Batman. Okay. I follow. MJ from Spider Man. Okay. Or Pots from Iron Man. Not a fan of Pots. She gotta go. Are you talking Spider Man? She was like the ultimate like loyalist. So I'm a loyalist, so I relate to her. Um, like she stuck it she out. She gotta die. No, she gotta die. What? Um, sorry, Pots. Um, <laughs> no, not Pods. She's so sweet. Oh, I'm so hot. You know, <clears throat> Rachel from Batman was cool, but she tried to run with the politician. Mm -hmm. She's trash. She wasn't a loyalist. That's why I, I would have taken Pods over. I guess over. I'd smash that, but. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I'm going with the default. You're going with the default? MJ from Spider Man. She was a neighbor. She was a ride or die. Yeah, she was. So I liked her. I liked her too. So you're yeah. marrying MJ. Mm hmm. Okay, you're smashing Rachel. Rachel, and you're killing pots. Yeah, pots can go. She's a gold digger anyway. <laughs> We're pots. doing okay. Sorry, pots. Hope you don't watch this. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Oh my gosh. Don't say Look you. Look at me. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Why are you looking at me All like right. that? You ready for the heat? Cause I got three more, but I want to drop the heat right now. That just awkwarded right. me out. Okay, okay, okay. Ready. All right, we got Idris Elba. You hear me? Okay. Jesse Williams and Drake. 
Oh my god, this is. <laughs> Ooh, I was what are you to drop so this. excited about? Because I wanted to drop this one first, but I knew I couldn't. I knew I had to build this one up. All right. Listen, I love Drake so freaking much, and if anybody who personally knows me knows how much I love him, um, but I'm gonna have to kill him. You're killing Drake. I'm killing him. I respect him, like. For a hustle, but I gotta kill him. I for sure thought you were marrying I him. I know. And I thought it was gonna be Not a, with like, his reputation. And I thought it was gonna be a Did you just get like too. I just read something the other day that like but she was the same girl that lied about the pregnancy. But she's talking about like he wanted like some weird fetishes where she wanted he asked her to spit into a cup until he filled it up where he wanted it. Okay. And the only thing I was thinking was like, what are they gonna do with that cup of spit? Let's all just use oh. our let's all just use our imagination on that one. But um, no, I'm gonna kill him because I respect him so much wow. just like as a talent. I don't see it like that. Um, I am marrying the <laughs> out of Jesse. No. I'm not marrying Jesse. What? He is he's fine, but like he looks problematic. Jesse Jesse Williams looks problematic, okay? <sighs> he's so fine. I'm smashing. I'm smashing and I'm marrying Idris, Idris. I never say his name right, because he's got this beautiful, gorgeous wife now. They seem like they've been together, and I'm all about loyalty, you guys. I'm about the loyalty. I'm about you know. He just seems like a good, like he would be a good husband. So Idris, I'm marrying. Idris, Damn. Idris, I'm marrying. I'm killing Drake, and I'm smashing Jesse Williams. Oh my God, I'm so, so full. I'm so tired. So full. <sighs> Ooh, my belly is expanding. I might just fall asleep. My eyes are like it's so tired. It's pretty late. <laughs> Yo! Yeah. <Yeah>. Whoa! <laughs> so, what? <laughs> what was that? You messed up my hair. Alright, I think that's it. I'm like do tipsy. Yeah, do your outro. Do the outro. He's like, he's like waiting. He's like, come on, shut up, girl. Look at him. Look at him. He's telling me to shut up, y'all. He's he's mentally telling me to shut up and get on with it. Okay. Hopefully I brought up everything I I did. I just want to say thank oh, you. Yeah. I just want to say thank you again for filming with me so late. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm slur I feel like I'm about to start slurring and learning over here. I would fall asleep. Like I could just fall asleep right now. Leave a comment below if you watch The Bachelorette. <laughs> I'm just because I'm so like I'm in the middle of that like I watched The Bachelor and Bachelorette. Anyway, thank you guys for joining <coughs> us. Bless, bless your soul, babe. Bless your soul. <sighs> thank you guys for joining us for Taco Sin Tequila, and uh, we, we will. We got something coming up next. Yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of recipes to get out. So 